This is a little technique I call screw this kitchen. I'm Sunny and I am a gamer. Today I'm gonna to be cooking a meal on Cooking Simulator VR and I'm gonna be doing it against a real life chef. Hola, I'm Chef Yadi. I am a chef, um, an educator, an activist. A girl from the Boogie Down Bronx that loves to cook. I'm no good at cooking, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna put this cute thing on right here and we're gonna see if my skills transfer to the virtual world. All right, let's get cooking. Orange pork stir fry with Brussels sprouts. The pork tenderloin with caramelized veggies. Boom, some water, we'll leave that there. Don't drop. Oh, I guess, am I rich in virtual world? I want to know, because then I'm buying all the good organic produce. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. There we go. All right. On. Ah. Turn on. No. Turn, turn on? Hello? OK, so I got an apple because I'm going to zhuzh it up. Rian's just doing some plain pork chop. I'm going to make some caramelized apples with them, too. Walk over here. Oh, let's. Get over here. This feels like I already had one shot, but okay. Okay, I definitely put too much honey. That's all right. I didn't think that would happen, to be honest. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. And I wish in real life I could have a little tablet that when I want to order something, it would magically appear in my hand. Uh, that was 15 milliliters. I'm trying to set up my cutting board like I do in real life, which is mise en place. I need to put this somewhere, right? That would make sense. I'm gonna leave you here. That is an interesting representation of a beat. That's a beat without its beet tops. Beets have tops on them, have beet greens, and you can definitely use those too. Oh shit. We're gonna buy it again because I just dropped that meat on the floor. And so we don't ever want to use that. But can I pick it up? Is there a trash? Because we're still going to be sanitary in virtual reality world. Don't be nasty, even in VR world, OK? I'm just going to turn it on everything. Maybe something happens here. Ah, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me turn one off. Apple chutney and caramelized onions look like it will go real good with that little pork tenderloin. Where's my pork shot? Nope, that's not a pork shop. There we are. So we need, we need, we need to find a baking tray. I'm in. A, I'm looking at a pantry right now. A pantry I wish I had. Is there liquor in that? Starch and rice wine. Perfect. Heading back to stove. Oh. This very much so feels like drunk cooking in college when you'd be stumbling around looking for things. And you're like, I'm gonna make the best ramen ever. Okay, hold that way. Pull. No. Twist. No. Nothing. I'm not sure how to get the lid off. Oh, no. That definitely would have burnt my hand for sure. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I'm dropping things. I'm bringing pots. <laughs> How did I get this pan? Where did this pan come from? <laughs> it won't break. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. Move over, buddies. We're just pushing things over here. It's not what I would do as a chef, but right now we're feeling a little incapacitated. Oh, God. I have no idea. Let me. I am. T oh, there we go. Hi. Let's flip you. No, no. Get back in. Real life. Come on, flip. Bro. Let's try that again. No. Okay. I don't know why like I pretend like it's actually hot. What we're gonna do though is we're not gonna cross contaminate virtual world or real world. So we're not gonna put our meat and our veggies in the same place. Let's put this pork chop out of the way. Yeah. Ooh, this thing is crazy. You just start to get a very uh, distorted sense of reality. Movement is uh, kind of rough. Got to take breaks in between. Woo, do you see my face is red? It's literally like I'm cooking in a kitchen. Just minus that whole like 
nauseating feeling of just walking so much and turning. It looks like the kind of pot that you can put in an oven, that you can transfer. Now, if we explode this kitchen, I do not want to be judged in real life. And then will you take a step to your right? A little more? <laughs> there you go, perfect. Maybe like this, if I hold it? No. All right, the pork, here we go. Oh, that piece of pork is not making it in anyone's mouth. Everything so far is uh, quite literally real life. I mean, literally every collision you make with the bottle spills the bottle. So you actually have to be careful in VR just like you would in real life, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna have to say change my name from Chef Yadi to like the tequila cook. It feels real to me, and I think I may like try this actually on my own time. Oh, this is awful though. Because as a chef, I feel like I can't put this cutting board with vegetables. Like I need to wash it. I can just literally, like I, how many times can I buy this? I don't know. It seems quite unlimited. And if I just do this, right? Like no, no consequence. This is the messiest cooking station I've ever had in my life, virtual or real. I have no idea what it looks like out there, but in here, your girl is doing the most. So given up on doing it the way that I would have, like, as a professional chef, I wanted to caramelize my onions and my apples separately. And what if I, like, do this, right? Like, what if I kind of flip it? That, no? Oh. Good thing you can't cut your fingers in here, because I definitely feel like I just sliced into my thumb. Nothing happens. This is great. See, now I can also cut things with no fear of losing a finger. Doing one thing without dying makes me feel mildly successful in life. Just don't drop it and we'll be, we'll be good. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, whatever. Oh, no, ah, ah. I never claimed this to be a clean restaurant. Five second rule? Let's just say that I sanitize my hands all the way and voila, orange pork stir fried with Brussels sprouts. This is the Jackson Pollock of plates, okay? Because you plate things all nice and then it starts moving. Now let's serve it to our customer. Perfect. Oh my God, where did it give me a zero? This customer clearly has no taste. No appreciation for the effort and time that was given. It has zero taste, even though I put all the spices in it. Where's my A for effort? I feel dizzy, I feel sweaty, I feel crazy. I don't even get to taste test the food. This is a little technique I call, um, screw this kitchen. Yeah. Cooking is very multi-sensory, and as multi-sensory as this was, you can't smell anything, you can't taste anything, and I think that's never gonna go away from the human experience, so I'm really glad that I'm really great at that in real life. Didn't go so well as I hoped. The customer giving me an absolute zero is nonsense. I thought that all of my real life skills were going to translate, but honestly, when you're cutting and you're cooking and you're doing things, it's very different motions with your hands, with your bodies, than when you're like, like this. You're like kind of driving, kind of cooking. It was like sensory overload. It's fun, it's therapeutic. The movement in the game does feel a little bit overwhelming sometimes. I do think that the gamer probably did better because he's used to like this virtual world maybe, but see me in these real streets, see me in the real kitchen. Thank you so much for watching and having some fun, maybe at my expense. I hope you like, comment, let us know what dishes you would make in VR world or what challenge you would set.